I'm pretty sure Diddy uh, obviously saw this play now a little bit different. He saw possibly, hey, well, well, let me I, not. I, I, here's what I think. I think that his lawyer said, this is going to be a flimsy case. You'll get you bail. Should, you should, you'll get bail. It's going to be years before it goes to trial. They'll plead to something light and your house arrest might count for the actual time served because that, that, that does happen a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you live in mansions. You, you, you know, because remember one of the stipulations when they try to get the, the bail was like, there'll be no female guests except for my family and my kids. Right? Yeah. Meaning that you can still see your house baby. House arrest of the mansions. Not, uh, listen, I, I saw the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I saw a young boy in house arrest. He was going crazy. No, no, oh, shit. If 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 you're free, you want to be under that arrest. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. You can still fuck your baby mothers. You can still, you know, spend time with your kids. You know the dopest part? Because family was allowed in there. Yeah, he could have all the baby moms in there. Exactly. <laughs> He's got ten Not just one. It was just right. like, he's got ten yo, party yeah. to this. Yeah, he's got ten <laughs> baby mothers. Like it's, it's wild, right? So, so I think his lawyer said, "Look, it's very flimsy. You didn't really do anything. You know, what I'm saying like a lot of this stuff is just bad publicity and, and so forth. Work with us. We'll get you off. You'll get bail. By the time you know." Five, maybe even ten years before it actually, you know, we'll keep de delay, you know, delaying it, delaying it, delaying it while you're sitting at home. This is a whole lot better life than going on the run and all, you know, and you try to hide out from, you know, the, the you know, U.S. authorities and stuff like that. And let us do our job. You have all the money in the world. You'll be fine. And he and he went along with that. Yeah, a hundred percent, definitely. You know, and, and let me just say this: you know, uh, one of my um, let me see, I could probably even play you the video. Uh, one of my security guys was actually Diddy security right up to the point where he got arrested. Really? Right, because one of his regular securities was out sick, and uh, Diddy has three security guys with him wherever he goes. So one of them got sick, so they called in my guy mm -hmm. uh, to actually. Um, help him out you know and he let me see he actually took a video i'll play this for you where's this it's the restaurant motherfucking track these niggas down yeah. right. you know what i'm saying get on their ass uh -huh. and motherfucking blow up their turntables and play your shit. Yeah. <laughs> how long before you got arrested is this this was like a couple of days before he got arrested. Really? So basically, he's he's there with his son, and from what my man described to me outside of this video, he basically was like, he knew he was going away, and he was trying to tell his his kids like, okay, you guys gonna have to you know hold the torch from here on in. He's telling his son, yeah, you know, put music out, like keep stay on the DJs, stay on their necks, like you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never really saw. King Combs is a viable artist. You know, I think that he's obviously gotten by because of his dad. Yeah, th th to me, both of those guys look like, I felt like they should have been Justin Combs running Revolt. Yeah. And like 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 corporate guys. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like like maybe still with the lifestyle of, yeah, we're having fun, but not the necessarily the artist. You know what I mean? Right, and, exactly. And, because Diddy's not really the artist either. And, and his biggest song is, is, is the FBI diss track. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> that was which, is, which is ridiculous. That was crazy. You know, keep in mind that Diddy was also caught with three uh, AR 15s with a serial number scratched off. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. And a, and a 50, pound, uh, 50 round drum. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Which, which I believe is not actually in the indictment, which makes me think they're holding on to that just in case the other stuff falls through. They're like, oh, we'll do a superseding indictment with the gun stuff and good luck trying to get around that. Yeah. Because that was found in your house. It was probably your fingerprints on it. Yo, the reason why I say you got to fire that lawyer, the lawyer said Diddy's taking a stand. Stop it. He might. Dumbest idea ever. He in might. Rico case? He might. It, it, no, no. I think there's no chance. First of all, I don't even think this is going to trial. The, the reason why I think he's not. It, it might go to trial. You if, if, if the Harvey Weinstein situation doesn't come into play here, so with the Harvey Weinstein case, that the one that got overturned, it basically said that the, the prosecutors brought in or introduced witnesses and, and allegations of 
uh, of, of situations that were not charged, and that prejudiced the jury. Huh, okay. Now, with the Diddy situation, it's only Cassie charged. Now, there's going to be a shit ton of other there's mad stories. So if, if if the Harvey Weinstein like I'm, I don't want to call it a rule, but if that hold up, even though I believe that was um state, if that rule holds up in federal court, um they're either going to have to supersede this indictment and add more victims, or or just go with Cassie. But but regardless, let's say all of the victims' stories or testimony um is potentially admissible. Do you imagine Diddy on a stand having to recount? and give his best explanation to what his type of kinks and freaky stuff are and then also stuttering even in a way of like okay well but it wasn't consensual like it, it, I, I think that's just a nightmare that's a nightmare for your client <coughs> i think you want to make we that point we, we don't we don't know man and and i think that because look the ftx guy took the stand very different like, well, he, here's I think what's what's gonna happen. He, he got on the stand and said, "I didn't know yeah. um, that what I was doing I was a crime. I was operating out of good faith." Which, by the way, yeah, these are my things. My lawyers that told me that it was okay. Yeah, it, right. With, with Diddy, it's like if you have to like. First of all, I think it's almost taboo for people to talk about their sexual kinks. Period. Even like like legal consensual stuff to get on the stand and now have to explain situations where the where, where women. If they take the stand, they're in tears talking about how you're a monster. You 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 just had man after man just plow them. Like yo, a, a prosecutor's gonna it's seven women, seven white women. That's that, that's the process. That's the well the the assistant uh, the AUSAs, um, the the assistant um, U.S. attorneys that are gonna be prosecuting. And you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna just be like, so after the twelfth guy, you had fuck Cassie that night. What made you think that the thirteenth was right? What could you say on the stand? Oh no, she looked like she was in it. Did you give her drugs? Well, oh yeah, look, no, look, she wanted it. Like, no, listen, I, I, I sound crazy. I, I understand what you're saying, but he, here's what ultimately could happen: you could be found guilty or, or not guilty, right? If you're found guilty, it's almost like I remember Mob James was saying on my last interview. He said something interesting. He said. If I have to kill somebody, I'm going to kill five people because the penalty is the same <laughs> for one or five. It's life in prison either way, so fuck it. I'm going to kill one, go on the run, and kill four more. So, you know, if this trial is going really, really badly and it's looking like he's definitely going to get convicted... At that point, it's like, well, let's just put him on the stand. Maybe he could turn the, this thing around, you Fuck know? No. Cause if it's looking like he's definitely going to be guilty anyways, you know, like, look, like... You know, you know why you don't do that? It fucks up your appeal. You get up on a stand, and now anything you say on your stand is going to hurt your appeal, your possibility of appeal, even if you blow trial. What I do believe, though, when, 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 when the guy said, um, or his lawyer said, he, oh, I don't know if I can keep him off the stand, I think he's almost um, smoke signaling. Yeah. It's a federal case. It's a RICO. <clears throat> Anytime you see the defendant on the stand, he's getting a 5K1 letter. That's the only incentive ever to get on the stand. 5K1 letter means you are cooperating. Cooperate, yeah. Right? So if you're getting on the stand to tell your story to who? You get what I'm saying? Like, this is some hard shit to explain. Yeah, I mean, well, look. But I've interviewed people like Hurricane Chris who took the stand in their own murder trial, and they won. That's self defense, clear self defense. Cassie yeah. gets up there and cry. We see Cassie gets up there crying, detailing how you have 50 niggas fuck her. You get up there, calm as hell with that that Diddy ass. Like, there's no way to look like really contrite or. Then then they'd be like, "What about this girl here? This girl here? 